Then they talk about the ills of the country for years, mm -hmm. five years to election. I know them. President Bio at the time, Nabi Mumu. Welcome to AYV Television on Channel 33 with the broadcast live from the studios na Tawail na Fritong. We also the online www.ayvnews.com with the stream live na Facebook AYV Selyun na we Facebook page. Um, this is the program where they talk to people them where matters um, um, on issues them where they can write about, talk about. Issues them where they get strong opinions about people them way um, influential in our society. People them way um, you know can do things them for change how this country day. We can ask the questions and we want to ask one for ask most times. Um, some of the questions they want to can drop on our Facebook page or some of the people they want to can request say on our one three for us that this program. These are the hot seats and um, the ad talk show here on uh, AYV television. And as always, me and uh, the presenter, Madula Mwanabadi, welcome all we viewers them from across the country and across the world, especially with people on uh, Facebook. As always, it can be very interesting on our comments, them, disagreements. But as I can always say, you know, we for disagree respectfully. We all know for agree for everything. It's, it's, it's even not good because that's not democracy. We for disagree. But we for disagree respectfully. Expect the other person's opinion, not no cause person because we not disagree on issues. Because at the end of the day, no matter whose party they support or who, who that na, na your interest, we all want this country for better. Especially we win our one simo. We win a normal sabi, na ya we don't dare, na ya we get for continue for day, na ya we family then day. So let me disagree for agree respectfully. And let me expect we self as cell unions. Today inside the program, and they can talk to somebody where a lot of cell unions see as um, a very critical, a genuine critical voice in our society presently. Um, somebody will be known to call things as they were before, and still they raise their concerns and they on critical national issues, whether it's human rights whether it's social political issues, governance, the economy, and even things that we get for do with the ordinary person, how they reflect, um, how politics they reflect in the life of the ordinary person. I get the pleasure for welcoming uh, as my guest today, um, lawyer Sori Sengbe Mara. Um, uh, Sori Sengbe Mara, na, na human rights lawyer, a social commentator, somebody with them to defend the rights of ordinary citizens them inside courts, out of courts, on the social space, the talk advocate for people them. Lamara, welcome to the show. Thank you, Lamara, for hosting me. I it think is a this, pleasure. This, this seat's really hot. No, you know, it's you know, <laughs> it's, you know, Maugu saved too easily, <laughs> as I always do. Uh, but how has it been, you know, um, as a young man, you know, from college, you know, they do this thing, standing. May soul rest in peace, your good friend, J.J. Banting. Yeah. Uh, you know, we all grew up in and yeah. he always is this person and yourself, we believe, say, society for change. Say, alien should not be as it is, whether it's politics or how they do things now with communities. And this don't be part of your life, in your professional life. Yes. How has it been for you as, as, as a young man? This is nothing the way a lot of people learn, can start. Either they get political appointment and change, or they move away for it. For me, they, they, they then give up, say no, me no mix again. Um, to be honest, I think it's been um, a wonderful journey, um, journey way full of highs, lows, and everything in between the highs and the lows. Um, I am glad you were your friends, um, JJ Banting. Mm -hmm. Because um, but people don't know say, I mean as a young man, maybe just one for, you know, excel academically, go college, turn lawyer, etc. etc. In 2002, specifically in April, I met JJ Banting. He was a young, intelligent young man. Um, he basically introduced activism in my life. And I first tell me about Renaissance, you know, and I can always tell people and say, there is no renaissance without J.J. Banting. Mm. You know, nine preach renaissance to me. 
now in convert me into renaissance, now in start a black renaissance movement, and everything where I believe, till today, you know, 20 years on, I owe one to JJ Bantin. Uh, because now that one figure they will be on, not only teach me democracy, how it should be on paper, but how it should be um, practiced. And then so 20 years on, looking back, I have no regrets that I've chosen this path. Mm -hmm. um, I get people in my society where I still look up to. Um, Lamrana, you know, one person because mm. I mean it's challenging if you know you one game they do, but we see say Lamrana the post bodies, he the old powers to account. You hear him, Marcel Ayanda, something and they with me energy cannot run low. I go call Valnoya, mm. we go talk all them or Basita Michael, all them people and they then continue for inspire you as well for mm. say you are not alone on this journey. Um, but yes, it's been, it's been, I, I wouldn't say exciting because mm. many, many challenges in there, many, many problems in there as a young man, you get for shared friendships, you get for shared relationships, mm. you get for shared even people away we don't know, mentors them. Because mm -hmm. um, at some point you look at some people as mentors and at some point the way their outputs don't feel by in governance, you get for come back to your drawing board and then reconstruct the lines around them. You don't get any point, I don't get at any point where you think, say, no, um, family will say no, man, you need to leave this. You get for look after the family. And it comes, you know, doing these things comes with a lot of things. You lose friends, these other opportunities, Correct. business opportunities. You go lost clients them Correct. as well. Absolutely. You don't get to a point where you think, say, no, I shouldn't continue this. Leon Manfred in battle, me attire. I, I think, to be honest with you, um, I think start of this year, I nearly got to that point mm -hmm. we, because I think, say, we don't get some deep-seated partisan governance to a point that it's difficult for let we agree on what is right and what is wrong, what is the law and what is not the law. And I think, say, once society reaches that place, the way you don't even able to determine waiting really, really not the truth and waiting a lie waiting a right and waiting a wrong. It's really difficult. And I think, say, for me, um, as everywhere in the world, you would assume, say, the courts now in forbid that arbiter mm. between political players them. Because, I mean, all over the world, politicians are manipulative. But the courts now they keep them in check. So, I mean, in spite of all of this, really, I got to a point where I've been mean, really, really my energy, I mean, from personal, also personal challenges with pain, say, well, loss. Mm -hmm. My energy was so, so low that I mean, get for say, you know what? I just left the country for a bit, you know, travel, go for um, a well-deserved break. And I nearly got to that point, mm -hmm. Lamrena, that I said to myself, you know what? I cannot be the savior for Sierra yeah. for too long. Mm -hmm. I'm a young man, I mm -hmm. get, you know, um, um, years ahead of me, et cetera, et cetera. Mm. But again, there's this book where many people let me think said, oh, it's a long walk to freedom by Nelson Mandela. Mm. Many mm. years. In fact, me, Manela, and I'm a mentor to a point that I've been feeling, say, oh, no, I don't get need for read long walk to freedom. I, don't, I know so much about Nelson Mandela. I don't go to Soweto, you know, don't leave South Africa, I don't study South Africa, et cetera, et cetera. But then I took a I took my time and then go through the long walk to freedom. You know, afterwards, I said to myself, I am not quitting. Mm. I said, so this Madiba man, you. Madiba, say, with all these accounts about how even they think about him picking them, how in family life was disrupted, how in first wife walked out of the marriage just because he said Madiba for left politics. Madiba said, that ain't a good woman a loss. But he said, sometimes, right? For let you you able to make that impact for nation, sometimes you have to put nation above family. Mm. So that day they will come, where he realized, say, wife well, don't left it him to pick in them. He said to himself, say, this is the price I should pay. This so I said to myself, I don't pay enough. I should not quit. That's why I'm here. There was a time where the, the you, made a, you make a statement against Supreme Court, the Supreme Quite. Court judges, yes. and he were detained. Yes. yes, and um, there are a lot of 
debates on this on social media. A lot of people stood with you. A lot of people believe you be, you, be, you are being treated unfairly. Does that in any way, you know, affect, um, you know, how you see things and how you approach critical national issues? Things you should speak about and not speak about? No, I, I, I think, say, as a, as a matter of fact, I've been energized the more. But, um, I mean, just to, it's good that you, 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 you bring this up. Because yesterday, um, somebody in a lawyer post na, na one penny forum then say me na convict, mm -hmm. you know, which is true because Supreme Court convict me. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned to somebody, say, way I go for U.S. visa, U.S. embassy. The only question when they ask me, where were you convicted? So I had to Imagine. take my time to explain. And I mentioned to a senior lawyer, where he called me and said, say, man, I'm worried about this conviction. Mm -hmm. We then I heard, say, because international clients will come, you know, clients and mm -hmm. background check the lawyer. Mm -hmm. I said, I don't get one or two clients and will write me specifically for say, there's this material about you being convicted by the Supreme Court, mm -hmm. if that may not go interfere with you, with your engagement. Mm -hmm. I get for take time for say, oh, it's contempt of court, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it was not anything done when I've been dishonesty, fraud, mm. or corruption. Mm. Those are three grounds where you disqualify me from the engagement. Mm. But every time, so yes, I know say it's something that has um, 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 blighted my professional career, mm -hmm. but also it's something that has um, re um, um, expanded my enthusiasm for what I do. And, because and you I have no regret. No regret, absolutely. No regret. Mm. Absolutely no regret. Okay. Um, le let me talk quickly about um, the judiciary itself Correct. that you're part of. Yeah. I think you are, you are, you are, if you are not the only, you are the few, you are amongst the few, because Madam Basita Sef can write about the judiciary and disagreement them. Madam Yasmin as well can yeah. do that. What are your general assessments? You know, I remember where this new uh, CJ came. You call him the born again chief justice. Chief justice. Yes. <laughs> what are your general assessments of um, with judiciary four years down the line? You know, with with this new uh, chief justice. Uh, Lama, to be honest with you, I think when I when whenever I am asked to talk about the judiciary, I'm a little emotional mm. because I know that no country, no the way they function at this world without the judiciary. Um, no functional democracy not there without the rule of law. And at the duty of the judiciary for pull the rule of law. Uh, we had lots and lots of promises and commitments by the SFPP government in a new direction manifesto, say then they can change the judiciary. Um, bear in mind that President Bio, now one person way they may hound, harass that the judiciary, etc., etc. Mm -hmm. So I think President Biobi understands, say, the court is being used by political players for one, oppress, browbeat, and intimidate political opponents. So he make promise, say, he go ensure, say, the judiciary is changed for the better. Mm -hmm. Right? Four years on, is the judiciary changed? I'll tell you um, frankly, that um, the current leadership, they do so much, one, in terms of infrastructural expansion. They will tell you, say, magistrates on day across the country, yeah. they don't um, hire new magistrates and new judges on day. But in terms of the volume of justice, right, I will tell you frankly that we, we directly involved in the judiciary were not seeing that sort of um, We should take just... responsibility. And, I, I, you know, when we can get this conversation, people mm. like you always say, oh, but the judiciary is um, separate from the executive, etc., mm. etc. Et and I understand that as, as you know, not only a lawyer, but also a student of um, 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 politics. And I, and I tell you what, because whenever the executive divide for presidency, whenever a politician invite for presidency, they always they make a commitment to the judiciary. Mm -hmm. One, because the president only appoints the chief justice, the president only appoints judges them, mm -hmm. the executive then they allocate funds mm -hmm. for run the judiciary. Mm -hmm. So, and that makes sometimes, I mean, you know, it's, it's always legitimate with the lady blame for also turn them on the executive because 
The quality of people, and for example, where you they recruit as judges, mm -hmm. they also detail on justice. But more importantly, the Chief Justice, when at the head of the judiciary, would always, and I think it's fair mm. to say, should take the lion's share of the blame. But the, the, the executive get the response, the Correct. constitutional right to do this. Yes. They do it. They appoint people. And yes. it, it is expected that these are professionals, Correct. people who don't serve for a very long time. Correct. It is on their own um, you know, integrity, or, or, or people expect them to be um, accountable and Correct. then for show some level of integrity for doing their work. So wh why? Why are they not do their, doing their work? And most times people blame na, na others from above, na interference. Why, why is it? No, I, I, t I tell you what, when you, so whenever you compromise on competence, whenever you compromise on mates. Mm -hmm. And what, are you saying the CJ will get now? No, 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 I, no. I wouldn't say that. I mean, I appeared before Justice Edwards, one of the most mm. fantastic, fantastically brilliant Chief Justice, mm -hmm. right? But when it comes to the administration of uh, the judiciary, mm -hmm. it goes beyond just your knowledge of the law. Mm -hmm. It's administration, it's management, it's a whole lot of, right? And the Chief, Chief Justice, not so you can get for seats on specific matters and across the board, mm -hmm. right? So what I am saying in essence, it's a whole, it's a whole, um, um, it's a whole gamut of factors then. One, you know, like when you say in computer science, garbage in, garbage, garbage out. out, right? So once but you... it comes back to the leadership. If, 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 if the leadership is there, they go understand who done are the competent person we know for this on side and puts the right person at the right place. So that's why I said to you that there is no way you can insulate the executive. Mm. Because one, the executive get power under the constitution for a point, but then in the same constitution, there are certain checks and balances. Mm -hmm. I'll give you an example. So Judicial Legal Service Commission, nine normally they nominate to president. Mm -hmm. Remember the last example where Basita Michael yeah. say, yeah. oh, you know, where I say certain people who were made judges, mm -hmm. they run through a process. Mm -hmm. Because what in that process they do, now for vet the number of people them, for make sure say we have the best of the best seats on matters, and adjudicate dispute between citizens and between citizens and government. Mm -hmm. So now that make the Judicial Legal Service Commission, now they receive applications, eh, vets them through an interview process that is transparent, that is rigorous, and that is effective. So once you compromise on that vetting process, eventually what you they get, now a product where the constitutional intent. So put it my <clears throat> So come back to what are your assessment of the leadership of this current chief justice or the, the leadership of the judiciary? No, I, I tell you what, I, I think we we cannot assess the judiciary without to not go back to what in the TIC say. Mm. So the TIC lay a lot of blame on the um, footsteps of the judiciary for the mayhem mm. where the country endure, mm. but um, the way um, justice is being dispense the manner in which um, compromises were made, right? I would not make that as assessment. What I would do, I would give you some examples. Um, in 2000 and, um, 2018, 2019, when the Commission of Inquiry um, then set them up, Bar Association um, had a position against the commis Commission of Inquiry, i.e., say the rules away for govern the commission of inquiry, now then rules and then are the rules of court committee for Mekam. Bar Association filed those papers before the Supreme Court in January 2019. Till date, as I speak here, those papers have not been assigned. In 2000 and 2019, March thereabout, we filed papers, what we call a uh, mandamus papers for compel the CJ for assign them papers in the um, for March 2019 <coughs> to date, those papers have not been assigned. Mm -hmm. In 2020, um, April, April or thereabout, I filed papers against the um, state of emergency, mm -hmm. um, COVID. See, all the measures then we, they may pass left, right, and center mm -hmm. were not constitutional. From April 2020 to date, 
those papers have not been assigned mm -hmm. for hearing. Mm -hmm. And I'm also aware that, for example, in petition, the APC petition, um, they continue to languish before the judiciary. But one of this matter, one just... of you matter, we are the one with, with the, the Inspector General of Police on, on, on banning vehicle on, yes. on, on election state. Yes. They had it. And, and, and they delivered judgment. They delivered judgment. They reserved judgment in that matter in December 2018. Mm. They deliver, delivered judgment in, I think, April yes. 2022, mm. four years on. So, yes, we received judgment, right? It's, it's wonderful that we got judgment. But also, I think as citizens, we deserve timeless judgment, timely judgment, mm. swift um, justice. So this is not just an example. And I remember, say, last year, me and Mr. Charles Magai, we had a meeting with the president of the bar. We say that the president of the bar conduct like a, could be a brief survey mm. of all the cases that were pending, uh, all the cases that were pending for judgment at the magistrate courts, now the High Court, now the Court of Appeal, now the Supreme Court. These are the ones that were pending for judgment, mm -hmm. right? And, I and bet that we have... Like recently, they asked about They asked things about then things in it. Mm. So, I mean, in the absence of all of this, it's difficult. It's really, really difficult to look at this judiciary and say, that judiciary with TRC characterized in that report mm. different from this. So, in your estimation... Um, the level of independence, professionalism, and access to justice or delivering justice with this judiciary, what do you say about that? I, I, think, I think, to be really honest with you, um, pa perhaps I would not use the words of the TRC mm. in the report, mm. but I think I would, I would use um, um, similar words and to what, say, what are those words? I mean, I mean, say judiciary, has not been situated within a, in a, within a democracy in a manner that would give confidence to citizens to access the corridors of justice. Is, is, is it lack of competence or because um, people are not doing the right thing or uh, political interference? I, I think it's a mixed bag of many things. And, 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 and I'm glad that you allude to political interference. I think we have lots and lots and lots of those. Mm. I mean, not only in, um, um, under the SLPP regime, obviously under the APC regime as well, but every year it seems as if the, the executive interference into the judicial administration of justice, the item, on a daily basis. Are you, uh, do, you, do you see that changing? Is, is there you know, that hope, say, um, this could change with, with the cop of law? Uh, General, I ask, what do you think about the legal profession? We see we get a lot of lawyers coming out now. We get the law school. They don't get a lot of um, you know, credibility issues and all. What do you think generally about the law profession? I, I think it's, it's, it's wonderful that you asked that question because for me, I think uh, I've been involved in the, since I, since I became a lawyer, I've been involved in the legal profession. Um, I've been on act as secretary of general legal counsel where they regulate lawyers, et cetera, et cetera, secretary of the spinary committee for lawyers as well. So I, I think to be honest with you, and I've said this to people that numbers, not to the issue, I think as a matter of fact, we need more lawyers then because we get boku boku justice matters then, right? But I think honestly that we need for ensure, say one, the law school um, turn out lawyers then we properly go through that procedure day. Because if year in, year out, with the history is about many um, conduct or pra practices then we know we're not pleasant, mm -hmm. right? At the law school, about um, grades, about um, issues, et cetera, et cetera. See, mm -hmm. 2014, for example, yeah. we said they don't call lawyers them to the bar, they may get for... Call them, we do them back. We draw them um, certificates them, mm -hmm. and some of them may get for go take receipt exams. Mm -hmm. So all of those would um, cast, you know, dark shadow, mm -hmm. you know? So in terms of the legal profession, I tell you what, we have many lawyers, and you would think that the many lawyers you would have, you would have a corresponding increase in justice. Mm -hmm. But that's not the case. 
And as a matter of fact, I think the many lawyers that we would get, because we don't compromise on standards, because we don't compromise on many things, because we don't think, say, the legal profession now for be like, or oh, USA would get we own people and say for own lawyers mm -hmm. so that they can defend we own political interests, eh, et cetera, et cetera. It will get a deficit in justice. Yeah, yeah, Unfortunately, no. it's ironic because yeah. you think with more lawyers yeah, yeah. would have heightened mm. justice. Unfortunately, in, in all of this, we have you, a deficit. What do, you, what do you think could be the role of the bar association, of which you are, you are still a member? Yeah, I, I think the bar association is um, is is one of the biggest disappointment. How how so? Um, the bar association should be in the forefront of governance. Um, we, 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 we no say during Basita Michael in tenure, we had um, the bar being there on this path for reclaim in nobility. Unfortunately, what we have now is a bar association where don't collude with political interests rather than the interests of the people of Sierra Leone. But the, 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 I'll tell you the what. executive are elected by, by members of the... Yeah. the the association they were voted for. Now, as I speak now, as I speak to you now, the current executive Bingo Bo, mm -hmm. na election where um, they all Bingo on oppose mm -hmm. one, um, and then they manipulate the constitution to an extent that they extend the tenure now to two years instead of, you know, annual um, um, one year tenure. Mm -hmm. So as I speak so. Now, um, Julian Colwyn, a lawyer, don't take the entire executive to court for let court declare that action day shouldn't, by the... Should, shouldn't this be worrying that yes. people them way for interpret the law, for uphold integrity Correct. with the law? Um, you as a member, they, yeah, they accuse them, say they manipulate the, the constitution for give themselves more time, more time, power yes, more time. and all that. In the in the years of the ordinary salon person, you know, is is we we not for be worried about this? Absolutely worried. So if if the bar association can tinker with their own constitution, mm. if they can, you know, manipulate their own constitution, imagine if a political figure attempts now for manipulating national constitution, whether that bar association in leadership mm. go get a moral high ground to call out that political mm. figure. Imagine. So even, do, even internally, you would, you, would, you would assume that, I mean, the, the Constitution prescribed the procedure in which you can amend the Constitution. Mm. That procedure was not followed at all, right? So once that is done internally, it gives the leadership now the appetite. If we get any political figure where things say one more time, mm. the leadership, but having but given but themselves more time would easily... But there were members of the bar who, who attended that conference. Who took objection, mm. who took objection, who said that the resolution to amend the constitution that was put forward by um, Francis Bainkai mm. should be put to vote. It was never put to vote. It was never put to vote. They protested, and then that makes Julian Cole don't take the entire executive to court, me and lawyer. Is it that, um, you know, with the current, you mentioned how the executive go unopposed. Unopposed, Is yes. it that certain people are not being active in the bar association because they're not believing them? Are, are you very active in the bar association, in the activities of the association? I mean, I'm a very active lawyer. That's what I do for a living. In and I'm, 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 you know, I'm, I'm involved in the bar, the bar activities. Unfortunately, the bar, the bar conference me daddy been sick. Okay. I, I think it passed um, a day after the conference. Oh, um, um, and I know say, one, people let me get objection. Say, the last conference, they went to Kenima. The tradition is, if you do one conference that free tongue, you do one upline. The next one for be free tongue. Mm. So if you don't come to Kenema, the next one for be free tongue. So everybody's expectation was, it's a tradition of the bar, mm. it, that it will be free tongue. Lo and behold, last minute announcement, the leadership pop up bow. So once you pop up bow with all the political dynamics, it means you don't set a ground for disadvantage. Some people, the way me expect, say, that free tour, we can conduct elections. 
we, we see you, you not be a member of this same bar. You know, when, when, when you, Francis Ben Kaifala, and others challenged the um, issue of the sacking of the former vice president, yes. you, you were almost bungled by police yes. officers, yes. Uh, you yes. know, that fits there and all. Is it that the bar is always divided? Depends on who is in power. There is that political division. The the politician, the one get control of them. Okay. Is that what is happening with the bar? Yes. Uh, it's not. It's, uh, so it's not only currently, but even in the past. Mm -hmm. And I like the fact that you allude to that because many people they don't know say that entire bar association protest was um, masterminded by me. For all them placards away they see going on, I bought them. Good um, um, slogans on those. Um, 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 placards. Mm -hmm. I can at the meeting, 30 minutes, the executive, they exist me, say enough for bringing placards into the meeting. Mm -hmm. I stood my ground. I said, I'm a own form of expression, this. And you had the support of people like... I had the support of people then, now we're there in governance. Mm -hmm. They then turning in, I was their ill. Then turning in, and then they, 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 they stood with me. Resisted the leadership. Say, Mara, forget in placards. Now that plain placards, and then later on, where the president then, mm -hmm. Ibrahim Sou, you know, puts a resolution on the sacking of a VP to vote. Mm -hmm. We did it at 7 o'clock. We got word, say, then send um, 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 orders from wherever for let police and can disrupt the meeting. Mm -hmm. Nine members and can now, can take me placards mm -hmm. for that protest. So I organized everything. So, you so I've been in this all. So what they see, the, the level of political penetration in the bar, mm -hmm. it's not new. But again, it's worrying because it's, it's getting to a point now that you, you know who side the red lawyers are, you know who side the green lawyers are. Who side you did? I've always stood with the people of Salyon. Mm. And, and all what yes. you did then, you didn't do it because you had... Because, because I wanted to be... Um, um, uh, it, it, let me ask you quick yes. about this. Um, you were a member of the Renaissance, Renaissance movement. So yes. A lot of people believe, you know, had a lot of had people we be members of the SLPP, get people and now we did it within a governor, right. you know. Right. So, um, the APC government be the accused in a sense of being a shadow of the so, the, the, yes. yes. <laughs> so, in 2021, you resign and you said you're moving away, you're resigning because the association they divert from in focus, correct? You know, you, you. You're moving away from Renaissance. You get any regrets about that, or you could have been within and, no. and all those things? Because this was a movement you led, yes. other people led, yes. and when I raised up a lot of issues, okay. where there have been collective voice, okay. where a lot of people believed in. Yes, I, I think, say, in any movement, waiting, they keep political movement going is honesty, sincerity to the vision and to the focus. Mm. And I think, say, at that point in March 2021, I got to a point where I feel like the, the vision has been tainted. And by was, who? By who? This, I mean, by the leadership. I mean, are your, these are your friends from college. Yes, you, yes. You want start this whole thing and but, believe in it. But you don't know you party them truly unless you entrust them with power, mm. unless you entrust them with privilege, mm. unless you entrust them with um, position. So you only get to know them when they, when they get power. Yes, and I think say it's 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 particularly unfortunate because these are these were guys that I stood with. These were guys that when we when we um, when we when we decided in 2013 there about for March what JJ Bantin had, mm. we left that I was um, you know keeping up the Black Renaissance movement, and then they had what they had then, but they wanted the Renaissance vision. So we had like long conversations on that one day. One ten and they would then have me all stay three o'clock in the morning for craft vision. Mm -hmm. So on ten and we'll get meeting say three, four in the morning. We agreed on virtually everything. So I thought that we're crafting a national vision for Salon. Where that vision is there above tribe, is there above religion, is there above political party. But you should have stayed on. No, and, no, no. And, 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 and change. No. You should have. Because no, no. I, I tell you what, because the, the movement is being led by pioneers. Mm. And once you know, say, the original pioneers, them, they had a different agenda altogether than Renaissance, I had to leave. And I'm not living in Renaissance. Mm. Yes, I You're still can. I'm living the corporate movement. 
I'm li li living the corporate movement. I'm always <laughs> Renaissance. I would always be a Renaissance leader. Do you feel betrayed or you betray the cause? No, I feel essentially and fundamentally betrayed by men who use the movement for projects and um, 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 political ambition, not only for uh, they reach um, a point for reveal and true identity, uh, uh, that they were not sincere uh, uh, to the cause and the ethos with even, and vision with even of the yourself, movement. How yes. genuine and yes. credible Renaissance was. You know, where, where the SFPP can appear, you get people who will be Renaissance movement members, then we get jobs. Yes. High offices, yes. including the Anti-Corruption Commissioner, you, you were also appointed as a board member. Yes, but I think board member, no. Uh, and, yes. and, 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 and I sought, yes. I sought advice from many of my mentors them yes. for say... But you were appointed by this government when they came in. Yes, appointed. Yes. I, I lasted three months and yes. I was kicked out. So, so, so was that a compensation to people who were part of this movement, who were part of Renaissance? Say, okay, Renaissance, when I've been on the go after the APC government, we don't kind of power now. When I get ACC, when I get Ministry of Basic Education, when I get, when I give you a yes, big board member cool. and this, this um, parastatal and all that. that, that those, so I did not, I did not understand that there was an agenda for compensate. I did not understand that. So you thought that. you were compensated? So I thought that, no, I thought that when I was called to serve, mm. you know, I spoke with a few of my mentors. They said, oh, you can't be an activist all the time. You need for render service. Mm. I said, I don't want any mainstream political position because I'm not a politician. So the advice said, the only thing you, way you can take, pass yourself as a member of a board. Mm. Once you serve, then you're not know, into, into mainstream politics. You're not a politician. A appointed by the government. Appointed by the president. Mm -hmm. So I was appointed by the president mm. for um, um, sit on Salcap. I lasted three months. Why? Why? You I mean, I, I think I shared my story. Mm -hmm. um, say, I, I take a number of positions. One, there were a number of things that were being that were, that were that, that were being done wrongly. Mm -hmm. That uh, you know, as a board member, and shall say, we um, we stick to corporate governance, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But more importantly, it was when I filed the uh, mandamus papers against the chief justice. That was when my trouble began. With who? Well, the establishment calls from some of my friends to say, oh, you are rattling or rocking the boat, or you are <laughs> rattling so establishment. You, so you were part of this boat. You were appointed because they believe you're part of this boat. So, so yes, Laman, the, the point I'm making, I did not know it was part of an agenda, mm. right? I thought that, oh, you can't be an activist way. Some people and say you write and they talk. You have to serve. So genuinely, I thought that it was an opportunity to serve. Mm. So I took that position and said, oh, we they can, we they can organize SALCAB in a manner that will be beneficial to the people of Sierra Leone. Mm. So while I was doing that, I was still, still doing my activism to a point of filing those papers and receiving all those calls from these folks mm. who are supposed to be my friends, who are supposed to understand that I stand this for- This includes members of the Renaissance, Renaissance leadership I'm telling you about. Yes. So you resigned or yes. you reassigned? So yes. I mean, interestingly, the final nail on the coffin was when the APC 10 members of parliament were kicked out. Mm. And I, I, we published that press release where it was it's very strong mm. to say, I mean, it was a judicial travesty. We used that word in other press release day. From that 10 to 9, somebody in a cell cap called me now and say, they've got a call from higher corridors that I should not be invited for meetings anymore. So from that 10 day to now, I have not been served any sacking letter. So, yes. So, but, but it means you're still a member of, <laughs> you're of the SELCA board. Don't you know, know. You've not been sacked and you did, you did not resign. <laughs> I did not resign. I've not been sacked. I, so, yeah. I, I just want to ask. The, the, but the, I mean, as board member, if they not call you per meeting, it means say, yeah, I but you were given a letter when you were appointed. When I was appointed, yes. I was yeah. never given a sack letter, never, so, till this day. So yes. you don't know if they but, sack you or you self know is that? Yes, but I got a communication from the secretary mm. of the company, when I the competent person for communicate meetings, for say, I have been instructed not to invite you to meetings anymore. You know, I still want to ask about say, Nissan. Yes. You know, the genuineness of, 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 of it all. and. Where then things are they happen with you? Okay. So you thought you were you were in something that wasn't genuine at all. You were not part of uh, um, a movement that people believed it was. 
then or you you prove the una don't prove the APC right now. Yes, these people had an agenda and this is what they're doing. Yes, so, so to answer your question, to be honest with you, I think what we portray the Renaissance to be was not and is not what it is. And I think that's the highest form of deception in politics. You know, I've read um, James Comey in Higher Loyalty, Bookway Rights. Um, James Comey was one time FBI director. You know, say, we get certain citizens and we, you are called to higher loyalty. And I feel I am called to higher loyalty. Loyalty beyond friendship, beyond um, party politics, beyond family ties, beyond everything I owe. It's the country first. And when we forge Renaissance, the idea was that movement would become placed above party politics, above region, above tribe, above whose you come out, whose language you talk, whether you know whose region, we did not have that. So we get certain ethos them. If they ethos then they will project and what we sell to other people away coming to the movement, believing that this movement, not a group of young people away with just one position, and at the end of the day, then continue for perpetrate the very evils or they condemn. So once that they happen, I said to myself, I cannot con continue to validate the And that's what Renaissance is presently. Presently, sadly. Do, do, do you have regrets of what you did? Then, um, when you believe this was a genuine movement and you were part of it, you you not been leader. You yes. inspire a lot of people yes. who join Renaissance. A lot of people who believe what Renaissance stood for. I, I wouldn't say I I I hold any regrets. To be honest, because I served to the to the best of my ability, <clears throat> and sure say for example, um, the things that will say you know Renaissance stand for the the manner in which we project Renaissance to the people them. Um, we, we conduct being consistent with that one day. Because mm -hmm. I tell you I tell you an example. One of the calls that I get for Salcab was to merely shut up. Say, young man, um, you need a Salcab board, you do it enough for shut up and then get your compensation. Mm. I said, compensate me for what? You cannot. So, so is it safe to say the other people who are appointed, who are Renaissance members, have been compensated? I, I, I don't know what, no, what, what your form. Friends. They yes. were your friends. Yes. I, you were part of yes. the movement. No, Do I, you consider the same? I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't speak for them. Mm. No, I'm asking but for your own opinion. My own for opinion. Your opinion. What do you think? I, I think let's judge them by their conduct and by their outputs. If somebody's renaissance, if them sack Lara Taylor Pierce, then suspend her in another manner. If you're renaissance, you did not speak up in government, I doubt your renaissance. There are certain things that, that have been done under this regime. If you're truly Renaissance, you would have spoken up. What's your relationship? We get, uh, What's sorry. your relationship of those friends, you know, who you, you stood with when I felt, when I yeah. during the PC term, um, you know, the public saw you guys as a face, a new face of young people who believe in this nation, the fight against things the way they go bad. What's your relationship with them? Um, to be honest with you, I think I just get professional relationship, uh, you know, as professionals. Um, beyond that, I wouldn't say, but I, I, I just no normal say that... Um, um, we're, not, we're not as close as we were. Because of your position? Because of, because, because I, mean, I mean, there's this saying um, around that, me they make like saying, I mean, I'm the saints, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm the only one, I mean, I'm the savior of Renaissance, you know, and, uh, and, and I think say, that's the, that's the de detriment that I continue to suffer for what I believe and what I believe are the original ideals of Renaissance, right? And I've said this, you know, several forums that certain things in the way they happen at government, if you are Renaissance, you should come out. We forget Boku Boku's um, 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 so he as them. We look Shaka Steven a dictator and say I would rather resign that, than associate myself with this government. You see in letter, mm. it was not kind. Mm -hmm. That was a dictator. We don't have a dictator. We have a democratically elected president. So certain thing and day where they happen, if you're truly Renaissance, you have not come out. You are not Renaissance. You said you were on officially sat. You were told by yes. the secretary, say, they need to call you in a meeting again. Yes. Um, as your position on public position on national issues that affects your professional uh, work 
at any point? Terribly, many times, many. Uh, to a point that, you know, um, when, I, when I begin my practice, I'm going to set up my, my first practice with certain partners. I'm going to left that practice there for set up my own mm. practice now. Because um, of disagreement? Because, because of my views on national issues. Now I read something you write. Yes. Um, in 2018, June 27th, you say, the appointment of Francis Ben Kaifala brings a breath of fresh air to an, or, an otherwise moribund anti-corruption crusade. Francis, one of the visionaries of the Renaissance movement, will no doubt bring his heart and soul into ensuring that the culture of public funds and resources being siphoned off into the pockets of a few people becomes a thing of the past. I am confident that the appointment of Francis to the aim of the Anti-Corruption Commission institution is the best yet, as he is someone with a honest patriotism which has been consistently demonstrated in his public voice and contributions to um, issues of governance. Mm. You still hold that view? I spoke about the man I knew in May 2018. Mm. Yes. So how about the man who, um, from that time to now? I, I, think, I think we're seeing a different person, in my view, to be honest. And I, I, I think, I think um, the corruption fight is perhaps the only issue that I've not written about for personal reasons. Because Francis was a very close friend of mine. Um, and, um, and I expect what we had, you know, as friends. And um, I expect what we have as, as colleagues. So I know I, I left the assessment of him fight to other people. But I spoke about the man I knew in May 2018. I cannot write such about the man I've come to know. You, you, you don't have confidence in him again? You don't, you don't get confidence in him again? Um, in terms of a, the vision that we espouse for Renaissance and national um, leadership, I don't. What's your assessment um, of the fight against corruption in Sierra You know, that's why I said to you that the fight against corruption, why I have um, avoided commentary on that. One, Mina one pan seven Sierra Leoneans say where president be appointed for craft the national anti-corruption strategy, right? So that strategy they done 2023. Mm. It would give me an opportunity for assess whether ACC being comply with with strategy. So I have said to myself, I would not comment on the fight. I would leave that to chair of us. But you've you've, you've, wrote, you've wrote a lot about about things. You know, yes. we um, directly get for do with 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 corruption and Correct. and, and, yeah. and all of that. Like it one way, right? Many people are not in, interested in being good citizens because there are little or no benefits. While right? there are so many rewards for participating in bad governance or just simply keeping quiet. A nation is built by good citizens and not by sycophants and party loyalists. You, you watch a lot. Yes, me. yes. <laughs> you know. Um, no, I, I think what I'm trying they, to they, avoid they, is the, an holistic assessment of the fights yeah, against yeah, corruption under President Bill. Exactly. I leave that to Chernoba and, and the others. No, but yes. the, the, the fight against corruption yes. was one of the three crusades with President, the President Bill. Yes mentioned say the fits. Yes. Lawlessness and 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 and, and corruption. Discipline and, yeah, and, and poverty, yes. Exactly. <laughs> yes. So in, in his four years, you might not want to assess Joseph uh, Francis Ben Kaifala, your friend. Yes. Is he still your friend, right? Um he's, he's my colleague. He's not your friend. He's my colleague. Uh, I he, think I'll put it that on way. A don't scatter? I, I think um I would rather say he's my colleague. Why? Why? Because we're called to the, to the same bar, so we're colleagues. So that relationship won't have been get, that tight relationship is... is no longer exists. Yes. In, in assessing President Bill generally, yes. in the fight against corruption, his, gov his government, which you, you think say he's done much? Um, I think say President Bill did not do so much. We're not for long, um, African Express not for long get so much relevance that they have. The fact that uh, African Express continue for giving all the materials and then evidence of um, whether it's payments, whether it's receipts, whether it's this, whether it's that, mm. will tell you that that is a fight that has not been won. But we've been rated highly. Yes. Corruption Perception yes. Index, CPI with Transparency International, 
other international bodies because then. these bodies they rate processes yeah yeah but they rate so them i mean a market where they go for an id card get for pay five thousand no, it's, it's, they getting, don't rate. It's, it's, yes. it's convictions as well yes. we've got convictions People so now I mean, a court yes where, now, now that make i tell you say waiting them processes then they day waiting the institutions that they rate now processes they rate for example if you not charge a minister will be involved in, let's say, rice saga. Mm. If you not charge a minister will be involved in the Echo Bank alleged um, payments, etc., etc., then they rate you on that too. And they rate you on the one them, then small, um, the little guys mm. down the wrongs, mm. right? Now then they rate you on, on the conviction level. So the institutions that they rate processes and they rate within the Ghana courts. Then they rate your omission. Mm. Then they rate the who side the fight for goal. Mm. They would not. But, but, but if, if they rate you well, it means you're doing well in those areas. So do you want to agree that... You can do well in small things, Mr. Uh, Mr. Barr. You can do well in small but, things. But, but so if they rate you 83%, say mm. for example, you don't come up from um, PZ to Eastern Police, mm. You'll be from PZ to Eastern Police, you don't score 83%. But in, in, in fact, your destination should be Waterloo. That's our destination. Nationally, the people's destination. Nationally and globally, yes. the Anti Corruption Commission has been recognized. Yes. It's won a lot of awards. Yes, yes. Being recognized as an individual in the fight against corruption. Yes. You still not believe, say, he's doing well as, as, as a young man, as a friend you knew and so believed in based on what I read earlier? I, you know, I've made this point to you that the fight against corruption, if that fight was robust enough, um, Chernoba in African Express would have gone out of business. Corruption would always be around. <laughs> would have gone out of, no, I'm saying that the fight, if that fight that was promised by President Bio, if not that fight in the age, Chernoba, not forget any business, not forget no work for do. The anti-corruption, co the, the anti-corruption commission don't come out. Institutions they don't come out most times. They challenge with in African express. They pull out. They, yes, I, I mean we know they, they say not conclusive. Exactly. But so, I mean so many a they, time, many a time you don't raise the, the, but, but the African express yes. on the raise issues yes. the way they come up from the audit report. And yes. most times it doesn't mean what is in the audit report generally in a corruption. Correct. Sometimes yeah. it's systems and processes. Yes. yes. And we don't see inside the anti-corruption commission don't con don't indict people them based on the audit report. They don't yes. recover monies them back yes. from the audit report. So it means even though there are issues, they're doing their work. So that is what I'm asking. You, yes. you still not believe say the commission itself. With the leadership of Francis Ben Kaifala is doing enough to, to fight corruption? Uh, Lamana, my point is if the fight that was promised by President Bill, if that fight um, were the fight that is, I mean, if, if that fit with them promised me, if not that fit stay been there, mm. you, know, I, you know, make me point again that African Express would not have any relevance. And I can give you some examples. Mm -hmm. We know say in the fight against corruption, um, um, examples them, public examples and critical. For example, you remember the incident of um, issues with the first lady? You remember the press release with Como say they are going back 14 years? Mm. That's the fight that was promised. So you think you're so fighting? the fights where they promise they're not they're not promise the fights where they collect um, teachers and put them around and cutting skin and put on cuffs that was not the fight. The fights where they promise I'll give you an example. Mm -hmm. Now the fight where you charge a minister in relation to a rice incident, you pull the matter in a court. At the end of the day, appoint the minister back. Yeah, but that was a fight that was promised. Well, they took the matter out of court because the judge, they say, wanted <laughs> judge and, and jury to, 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 to go on that matter. And they don't think, say, Lamana, it's technicality, okay. you not know, they buy you for comeback. Mm. Technicality, you not know, they buy you for comeback. So you think your friend, Tade, he's yes. not doing well? I think that the fight promised by President Bill is not the fight that we have seen. What, what, what we are you expecting? We've been right this. What you've been looking forward to? What kind of fights against corruption you've been doing? I mean, expect the ruthlessness that, um, for example, the African Express don't sh showcase. The sort of ruthlessness. The sort of ruthlessness where 
if there is a specific allegation against a minister, would get down to the bottom of it. For example, whether incidents but payment in EcoBank, we saw the press release from Anti-Corruption Commission, pretty much like a defender. So you still not believe, say, that fight promised the people of Selyun. We have not seen that fight. Larry, it with you right some yes. time ago on 11 June. See, um, four years under the SLPP regime, our electricity crisis is the same. Our water problem is the same. Our fuel prices have more than doubled, and our hardship and lawlessness have escalated. Those of us who voted for the new direction are only ashamed to admit it, perhaps even worse. You believed in President Bill then? Yeah, absolutely. And, and, and I think, say, looking back, I was this young man that was fascinated by, by President Bio. You know, and I thought back then, I said, how can a young man at 29 go serve na the army and then, you know, became subsequently head of state? I was, I was fascinated by him bravery. Mm -hmm. And I thought that if that man at 29 can lead we, if we get a chance, it would bring discipline and law and order that this country really, really lack. Four years after you voted for him, you, you say you regret, you regret voting for him? Um, to be honest with you, I think most of the things that were said, most of the promises in the new direction, mm -hmm. we have not seen. We have not seen the fight against poverty. Um, not to me, Tokam, the economy will, mm. will tell you. I mean, the skyrocketing. But globally, the economies, economies are faced with challenges. Globally, yes, that yes. is not is making. Yes, you know, when he came, when President Bill came, he put a lot of measures, single yes. treasury accounts, yes. uh, addressed a lot of things. To them, we've been seeing the presidential orders and yes, and, yes. And, 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 and all that. And, and, and so all those are in place. Yes, I mean, what we why blame him? Why blame so him for? So, which one of us don't fault him for? For example, if. Um, President Biomi meets dollar at seven thousand seven five. Mm -hmm. Though it's, it's still a seven thousand seven five, we go say, oh, in spite of all the economic hardships around, all the shocks, we able to keep what we have, right? But, 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 but if naturally, it, that is impossible. Yes. Based on based on um, global markets, we are, we are not you know mining shorts, COVID. But came, so, so we will promise all of those say, in because and and by the way. President Biobin berates the economic recklessness of APC mm -hmm. in a new direction manifesto. Mm -hmm. And he promised me so much. Say, you can fix the exchange rates, you can ensure, say, the economy stabilized, etc., etc. We have not mm -hmm. seen that. You know, not seen that. President Biobin to this quality education. Yes. Over 20% budgetary allocation yes. to her. He is, he is, this is something he's believed in, and I believe you have believed in it. Absolutely, him. absolutely. And, and he's, he, he don't always say the economy was doing well until we had COVID and global threats with Ukraine and Russia. You, you still not believe saying so four years he's done his best, introducing policies, legal reforms for change this country? You, you no, I, I think in four years, to be honest with you, I mean, I'm saying this because I, I don't belong to any political parties. So. Mm. Um, this not to any partisan view. Mm -hmm. As an activist, as somebody who um, followed President Bio, as somebody who, the only president I've voted for in my life is President Bio. Like at that point in 2018, for I make that decision, say I'm gonna vote for this man. Mm -hmm. now, because I believe, say, he was going to deliver so much. Have we seen um, um, that much? Promise, new direction? I would say no. I know that you know we can we can get with debates about free quality education. I think it's a wonderful initiative. Um, the Visenge, the try. I mean, we would not have quality overnight. You know, once we but roll out. But change as well, you won't have overnight. Yes. The president has said that. You say promise change, but you not promise that change will really come in overnight. It's, it's it's a process. Yes. Sometimes you need for change policies. You need for change. You need for do legal reforms for the changes. The things for let you feel um, um, come up from seven thousand, for example, go to twenty two thousand. That's the global economy. <laughs> it's not only with sell unit. No, no, so Lamana, this is the point I'm making. So once internally, you know, provide measures them for absorb external shock. When external shock, they carry the crush and crumble the economy. And you would not blame global um, um, crisis. Right, because as part of governance, leadership 
Now for insurance, you get all land shock absorbers. So when the external shocks and they come, you economy be able to absorb them. Because if you economy once the, um, um, the globe um, sneeze, you catch cold, it means that your immunity is at risk. This, this man you so believed in and you voted for. Yes. You know, um, if, if, if you de think about what they don't do well, what you go think, what you go, you go showcase, you know, you say, okay, I believed in him, I voted for him, this is what I believe in. I think free me. quality education. I think they are doing so, so much. So generally, if you are to rate him over 100, how much would you? Uh, I think I'll keep that for... So is it 2023? Yeah, yeah, June? I'm not asking who you'll be <laughs> voting, but I'm just asking. If, if, you, if, if you say, I believe in this man, I voted for him, how many percentage you get? I, I, I think I would refrain from saying that because that would reveal where I stand in terms of whether but, I would but vote for him again. But where do you stand? You believe, <laughs> where do you stand? Do you believe... No, no, that's deserve, what I said. Do you believe he deserve to continue to lead this country? Um, Lamran, I, I think, um, to be honest with you, it's... Um, it's a question that, I've, that I'm currently turning in my mind mm. because um, as an activist, at the end of the day, I, I, you know, I get to go back to the New Direction Manifesto and then put side by side what has been done across the four years and what, what was promised and then make an assessment whether me as a person, as a, a governance activist, can advocate for President Bill in re election or not. That's an assessment I would have to make. In, in an article published in, in Teacher Lim Plim, yes. um, you, you wrote, you said, now my point is that Sierra Leoneans did not vote for the president to breastfeed and babysit. It was voted, voted to lead, to hire the right hands, minds and skills, and to fire them, but not to babysit them. To babysit ministers and heads of statutory entities it's not showing incompetence and mediocrity. See the president just relieve um, Ambrose Sovola, the IGP, and he appoints um, Alaji Alpha Khan as his spokesman. Uh, what are you at this time? This, 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 was, this article was published um, in 2020. 20, yes. In 2022, yeah, yes. what are your assessment of the president's appointment then? I, I think one appointment they were shocking to me. I mean, I, I have to be honest with you. Now, the current Minister of Finance, um, we told with him they go on at the COI appeal. Uh, he was cleared today, he was appointed tomorrow. He was so um, characteristically urgent of an appointment. Um, to be honest with you, I think, say, from that appointment to, to date, we have not seen much in the economy. Um, that is not my assessment mm -hmm. numbers, that mm -hmm. you and I know. Um, I know that the IG then, um, I mean, we, we had a number of issues with him. Um, and I think, I don't know what prompts the president for a but I think it was, it was a little late in the day. Mm -hmm. uh, I think um, there, was, there, was, there was so much that could have been saved if we if we be not getting new IG, mm. uh, but be that as it may, that point new person, it's a breath of fresh air. Um, um, I know say we are begin practice as a young lawyer, begins interactions with fire cell, mm. and um, is a man who promises so much. Me not me get so much expectation on the um, Suvula, for mm. example, because a, a week before he, he got appointed as IG, I wrote state house mm. against him. It was at um, Lombly Police Station then. You know, I remember the way my me, um, me clients received the news of the appointment, I say, correct. I don't think that our case go pass <laughs> again, you know. Uh, with Alpha Khan, I know say there's been a lot of, um, you know, um, talk about inclusion, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. That's not it for me. I think it's just politics. It's just plain, plain politics. Mm -hmm. um, if you want inclusion, um, there's a way you go about it. Um, there's a manner you go about it, and I think say one person where they do really fantastically well in terms of uh, making sure that um, he reach out to a position at the vice president, Chule. Mm. Yes, he did do fantastically well. I, I remember one time and say go visit a pastor, be a yeah, former, former president, etc., etc. Et go put local. Et I'm not saying that other members 
should do the same. I'm just saying that when you say one's inclusion, um, remember, for example, I think now after the Bintumani conference, mm -hmm. where after all them political statements um, and then lo and build afterwards, opposition what you know opposition yeah, members were yeah. were founded. So if you want inclusion, not to somebody we don't fall out with the opposition group they go take. Mm. No, if you want really really inclusion, now person like Richard Conte, where they really really in the mix. Now they make presidential manager, presidential advisor, or you put on a you you council of economic advisors them. You, you yes. think so the president of the um, baby seat again? Is is been um, you, you know appointing the right people or sacking them? Those who are not doing the right. I, I think to be honest with you, I think um, whatever the president does now would have perhaps very little effect in the grand scheme of things because it's beyond four years now, getting to five years. I think, say, the, um, the ants and the peers of legs, we don't man and marshal with governance, mm. not on them in a manner that we had anticipated on the SLPP governance. Recently, you write about... Um um, the tribal rhetoric, and you say it's worrying. You yeah. went further to say the Mendes are not on trial. Bad governance isn't a product of any particular tribe. What do you think about the political atmosphere presently in less than a year to um, the national elections? I think, like, like I said in that tweet, I think it's very worrying because, and I've had a lot of people um, we one for, for example, one for come at the, the current government and say, oh, they mean they are. Mm. I mean, it's wrong. It's something that really, really angers me, right? And nobody know for, nobody know for yeah, in tribe being, um, you know, being belittled or being um, scandalized in that manner day. Um, and I know say bad leadership day across tribes. Uh, whether he puts Limbaku and Kofula, whatever it seems, a bad leader is a bad leader. Mm. So not to the tribe. And I then encourage people, um, opposition uh, members them, if you want old president Bio and in government, if you want to criticize them, want to call them out, do that for, for, for as long as you could. Yeah, but no reference... Like then tribe, no mm. reference say, oh, this now because South East, mm. or because of this. No, as a matter of fact, we get prominent Northerners them, now this government, we mm. go all key position, like Umar Napoleon Koma, sexy mm. general, mm. and Northerner, Oman Bangu, and Northerner. So we get really, President Biodo, really, really go out, out of him way for ensure say, we get a mix of um, all the tribes are involved. So if now all in tribes and they call out the individuals them for the lack of leadership, mm -hmm. not call out people in tribes. And that's why I said the Mendes are not on trial. Yes, they are not the ones who are responsible for the bad governance that we have. Now people are who we elect, who we expect more from, now they don't deliver less. Tribe. It can be from <laughs> anybody. It can be from any yes. uh, Finally, as we the round up, you know, when, when you left Renaissance, our Connie's paper reported that you say um, you did join another vehicle. Yes. What's, what's your ambition? Do you have a political ambition? Um, that's, that's, a, that's um, I think that's a wonderful question because uh, I think I have been asked this question like uh, almost every week. <laughs> mm. You know, by most people that look up to me and say, what's the game, what's the agenda? Um, I'm a political animal. Um, I've said to myself when, when I've been young, I say I'm in need for get the I mean, the basic things of life, right? I said, I want to go into politics. I remember about, you know, achieving just the basic things. So I wanted to focus on my practice for make sure, say, I get certain things in right. We make, if eventually I go into politics, um, my dedication will be solely to, to, to the cause. So you'll and be going into politics? Certainly. Is, and that, then, is that soon? Um, I, I think I would even say very soon. So we should expect an announcement before the next election. No, not not before the next elections. But um, we have we have we have um, 
we have a political um, vehicle now as I speak, as promised in the Aoko mm -hmm. um, court there, that um, we were going to form another political movement. And that political movement we desire is to ensure that um, we, we, um, we give vision and promise and hope to the people of Sierra Leone. Is this a movement where they contest, contest um, the next election? No, the next one, no, certainly no. Well, it's a movement that will be contesting election. It's a movement that would lead to a political party. And you being the leader? Well, I think we have leaders now. We, we, within the, 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 the political movement? Political movement, well. In what capacity will you be coming into politics? Um, People are looking just come up, they lead a party, they, they contest presidential election. Yes, I, I think in terms of Danny, we still the um, we still the debates and formulating mechanics of that. I will not say as at now, but I will tell you that I'm very much interested in politics, and we're building a political movement. Uh, it's been over a year okay. in in the works. Will you be voting in the next elections? Um, it's, it's something that I would um, have to decide. Um, I hope that President Bio would work some magic between now and June for he regain the excitement that I had. If you not get them? Um, I would, it depends on who the other players are okay. um, on the ballot. What you'll be voting? Voting would depend on um, who the players are. But uh, yes, but very importantly, I would encourage everyone to vote and, and I would be committed to vote. In terms of who do I get for votes would depend, would depend largely on between now and June, what these, um, what, whether the dynamics would have fundamentally changed mm. and whether other players would come into the mix. But you still mix. believe in President Bill? Um, so you could possibly vote for him? I, I think, I think there's, there's a certain, um, there's a certain likeness that I, that I have for President Bio. Mm -hmm. And that comes from, because when I've been small, I've been really, really lucky. I wanted to be, a, you know, wanted to go into the army. Mm -hmm. And a part of it was looking up to um, um, Strasser, then President Bio, then back mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. And then the excitement that these young people could lead a nation. And I think I, I have that um, underlying likeness. But I, I, there's no guarantee that that likeness would... If he would, plays the would. magic to convince you, you vote for him. Oh, yes, that's what I want, um, Lamiana. That's what I want. And I've said to people that I want to retire from activism, right? And I think, say, once we have good governance, some of we, Nanani me and Marcella can talk, say, some days you want to retire, well, uh, Good governance don't so take over the country that you they look now. Nothing not there for tweet about. <laughs> nothing not there for say. Okay. So we can set up a business or, or what have you. Okay. But until then, we're in this business. If you approach again to serve, will you take take up under this regime? Yes. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I don't think so. Thank you very much, uh, lawyer Augustine Sui Sengbemara. Thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you Thanks too. It's been me. hot here. I know. <laughs> I'm sweating. I know. I know. Uh, That's always about it. But yes. we appreciate your time for yes. joining me. And um, you know, with the time for get some discussions around how do we help educate the public as well on critical That's national issues and people understand which are people in positions. Then, okay. um, you know, moving forward because like we may always can say. It doesn't mean who is in power. If Sierra Leone is good, it's, it's good for all of us. If, if, if are they able to get good health care, I don't care who, who, who is in power, who, who does it, you know. Mm -hmm. So as long as we all get the facility and access to them. But thanks very much for all you're doing, and thanks for joining us okay. today. Thank you, too. This is our seats. That's how they end the show. Thanks to the production team and to our viewers mm -hmm. for all joining at the show. Continue for watching YV. This is next week. I'm Adula Mwanaba. We are chairman of Renaissance, and Renaissance was considered to be an independent body that advocates for change. Let me put it So, so I'm not asking you to now you ask about. about. You, were, you were Minister of Information where President Koma announced austerity measures from State House. Yes. No matter you in street quality education, and I am against that, I will not accept. This is not President Bio's street quality education. So the economy went bad from your own time.
disciple. You have you in a yes. power. You in a power. I go feel it's difficult for interpret the the connotations there. Day. As the anti-corruption commissioner, have you been approached to be compromised or corrupted in the matter you are investigating? Don't they talk about the ills of the country for years, mm -hmm. five years to election? I know them. President Bio at the time, Nabi Mumu. Watching AYV Television.